Welcome, 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 my friends, to my Saturday morning How to Draw Cartoons. Another exciting episode here today. Hope you're doing well. I know I am. <laughs> With the weekend's here. Of course, maybe you're not watching this on a Friday, but this is a Friday for me. It's an exciting day because the weekend's coming. It's the day before Saturday morning, which used to be the best day of the week to watch cartoons on TV. Yep, back in the old days. <laughs> of course, now you can see cartoons anytime you want. But that's why I themed this Saturday morning cartoons, because in my youth, that's the morning, that's the part of the week where you looked forward to and just couldn't wait to see your favorite cartoons. All right. Today, it's going to be another Wacky Character Day! Yes, Wacky Character! <laughs> All right, yes, today we're going to draw something inspired. I got to thinking, somebody posted some pictures online and I saw it was from a hot air balloon festival. Do you know what those are? Hot air balloons? There's a little basket and then it goes up to a balloon and they heat the air into the balloon and it goes up into the air. And so I got thinking about that hot air balloon and who could fly a hot air balloon? Well, a pilot is usually someone in charge of flying something. So I got to thinking what could be wacky about a pilot? And I thought of a favorite character of mine from the sea, a pilot whale. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> a pilot whale. The pilot whale is, it's part of the dolphin family, so it looks kind of like a dolphin. It's a big, it's bigger than a dolphin. Kind of looks like a, the killer whale type um, whale that you might see at SeaWorld or something. It's a, it is a member of the dolphin family. It's got a big bulging forehead, and we're going to draw a pilot whale sitting in a hot air balloon waiting to go up. All right, so grab your pencil, and we're going to get started. Let me just check my, make sure we're doing good here. Okay, I uh, just had to check the video. All right, so the pilot whale, we're going to start with, get your pencil, a rectangle shape. A rectangle shape. This will be the head or the basis for the head of the character. All right, a rectangle. And if, if you watch all my videos, you know I start with some simple shapes and build on them. This is going to be the head of the character. He's standing in the basket. I'll just extend this line down and this line down. And we'll work on the head first. All right, so he's got this big bulging head and it is very rectangular if you look at pictures of actual pilot whales. But then at the front, it does, it bulges out like that on the forehead, comes back in, forms kind of a lip, and we'll give him a, we're actually going to give him a look of concern because if you think about it, a pilot whale would be very heavy. <laughs> Maybe he can't get his hot air balloon to rise because he's too heavy. So he's, let's put an eyeball, big eyeball here. Put the pupil on the top. Put a ball, put a little oval inside of this oval. This becomes the pupil. Little circle for that reflection. He's looking up. He's concerned. There's his little cheek. All right. There's his jaw at the bottom. So there we have, based on the rectangle, the shape of the pilot wheel. Now, if he's a pilot, let's see, let's give him a, a cap. So we need a triangle shape like this. Triangle. And then kind of a rectangle on top of that. Long skinny rectangle and then the hat. The hat's going to be based on a couple oval shapes. One like that and one like that. Right? So watch this. Come up. And back like this, and that's the hat. And then maybe on the top of the head, he's got an emblem or a symbol. This would be the this would be the visor of the hat. Usually they're glossy black color. But there's his hat. He's a captain. Uh, let's do this. Let's make it with his body. 
Let's do this so I don't confuse you. I'll erase that line there. Let's come down with a V shape, or like a triangle. See that? That will be the neck of his shirt. All right. Then do this. Continue this line this way and then bring it up to make the collar. Do the same over here. Continue this line down this way a little bit. Get that out of the way so it doesn't confuse you. And then bring it up the collar. Okay. Uh, he's got a tie. So triangular shape here. And a kind of a it's two curved lines that form the shape of a tie and you could put stripes on it you could do anything all right now the the fins maybe he's he let's see maybe he's just kind of pointing out this way with his fin which is just an s-shaped curve come back like that s-shaped curve come back like that short sleeve shirt with of course what do they call it? Epaulets? Those little bars, captain's bars. Do that. Put a little rectangle on the top. Rectangle on the top with a couple stripes. All right. Another S curve. Watch this. Put your pencil right here. S curve. <laughs> Put your pencil down here. S curve. All right, there we go. Sleeve stops there. And he's got his name tag. All right, and this is where the basket would be. So just do this, a straight line across here. Come down, we're gonna make a rectangle. It's the edge of the basket, the top rim of the basket. And maybe we won't see the whole basket. It's sitting on the ground, but it's going to look like that. And usually on the basket, there are these two sandbags. They help hold it down before you want to take off. So use some ovals to make sandbags that are tied up here. So just a little curve line. Maybe put a triangle here. That's the top of the bag. Triangle top of the bag right and then on your basket you could get fancy and do lines going this way to make it look like a basket and then lines going this way right okay he's in his basket we don't see the balloon but put your put the ropes that go up to the balloon in it now in the background, do this. Give it a little horizon line. In the background, maybe we do see some balloons so we know where he is. Start with a circle. From the circle, come down like this with some... Down to a rectangle. And more strings or ropes down to the basket. And then your balloon could be decorated however you want. You could have stripes. You could color them different colors. This guy's waiting to go. Maybe he's lifting off. Put a little, put a little shadow underneath. He's ready to go up. Motion lines. We know he's headed upward right over here cloud in the sky the weather has to be pretty good for a balloon launch i know that because if it's too windy guess what happens Whoosh, you get blown off course <laughs> now the pilot whale i wanted to share something with you that's interesting i found this interesting i learned that this is a species of whale that is most often involved in mass strandings in other words in other words they're the ones that mysteriously wash ashore and, and unfortunately a lot of them die and it's unknown as to why in some cases but this species for some reason is the is the one that is most often involved in those and i got to thinking well why would they name it a pilot whale 
And it's, I mean, it's not funny that animals are dying, but why name a pilot is someone who knows how to get where he's going. <laughs> that if you're stranded, that's not a good name for your whale. I think they ought to come up with a new name, like maybe stranded whale. <laughs> yes, unfortunately that happens with some animals. Maybe they get confused or maybe they're sick. We don't know in a lot of cases. It is sad, but I don't know why they call it a pilot whale. It just, it just doesn't make sense to me. All right, so we won't have time. I'm gonna look at my video time here. Eh, we'll probably have time to ink the whole character. Let's see here. All right, grab your ink pen if you're gonna follow along. If not, maybe grab your coloring markers or pencils and start to add color to yours. Remember, I like to use my ink pens. And here's what I'm going to do. Let me get a little thicker one here. I'm going to leave a little shine on the black because that black visor, again, a lot of times it's a shiny patent leather material and it's going to leave a shine. So I'm going to leave a little white strip there that serves as the reflection. Okay, he's concerned. Why am I not going up? I've been dieting. <laughs> the whales are big. Even this one. Heavy. So he's having trouble. Launching upward. Or you could make up another reason why he's having trouble. I'm going to fill in this tie. What if, you know, how these mammals have uh, blow holes in the top so that they can breathe? What if he's trying to blow water up through the blow hole instead of using hot air? And obviously that wouldn't work too well, would it? No. So that's an option for you to think about too. You could have your whale making a mistake. It's not going to work too well blowing water up <laughs> to try to get lift off with your balloon. A couple bars there, captain's bars. And let's see here. All right, let's see. I'm gonna use my sharpie to create the outline of the edge of the balloon. All right, and then maybe the, just make a little knot there with some strings down to down to the sandbags. Again, that may be part of his problem too. You're supposed to release, I think, you need to release some of them, or maybe you keep some of them connected. Maybe you should look that up because maybe you need to release them later if you're not going up high enough. I don't know. I am not going to find out. You won't find me in a hot air balloon. When I was young, I would have done it in a heartbeat. <laughs> I would have loved it. But now I'm a little bit afraid of heights. So I don't think I will be trying this anytime soon but I hear it's a lot of fun. Okay, now we're just adding little fun details that don't really have much to do with our main drawing, although it does tell whoever's looking at it 
what he's standing in because without this reference of this balloon, we wouldn't know why, what is he doing? In, is, why is he in a basket? You might not recognize that. All right, so let's see, let's do some quick diagonal lines this way and some diagonal lines this way. Notice I'm not using a ruler. It doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. How about that? Not a big deal. Uh, let's see, what did I want to do with this? Oh, the strings. This, I'm going to turn it sideways. I'll get a fairly straight line, but it's not going to be perfect. But you could, you could use a ruler or the edge of a piece of paper to make your tie downs, which would be pretty straight because they're holding the balloon to the basket. And then again, you're going to be coloring this or if maybe you're not coloring it. Maybe you're going to just leave it black and white. Okay, motion line. He's up off the ground. Why am I not going up? <laughs> Poor guy. Hey, how about some, so a little bit of shadow under here, the, the edge of the balloon. You know, that makes it look like there's some volume to that or some mass and it's overhanging this basket so it's causing a little shadow on the edge of the balloon. All right. The pilot whale. <laughs> Once again, not sure why it's called the pilot whale if it doesn't know exactly what it's doing sometimes, stranding itself, but hey, that, that's just part of nature, I suppose. But they could have come up with a better name. How did yours turn out? Did you give yours a captain's hat and a captain's uniform like mine? Maybe you gave it a different look. You don't always have to follow exactly what I do if you don't want to. Just a suggestion. Just I just like showing how I use simple shapes and curved lines and circles and ovals in order to achieve my drawing, right? That's all we're doing here. There's no rules to what I'm doing. There's no cartoon police that are going to knock on your door. <laughs> There's no, it's not a big deal. We all, if there's a mistake, so what? I make a lot of mistakes. We don't have to worry about those. That's how we learn, right? That's how we learn, making some mistakes. And believe me, I make plenty of them. Yep, okay, let me sign my initials here. DM with the year, 20. All right, and I'll put on here, so I like to label some pilot whale. Pilot whale. All right, there he is. I hope you had fun drawing along with me. I know I had fun drawing this. Hey, until next time, I hope you take care of yourself, be well, and take care of one another. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>